All right, what's up, you guys? I am here with the Survivor Series War Games 2023 pay-per-view DVD review. So, it has come to my attention that I, for some reason, never reviewed this. I thought I did, and apparently I didn't. So, here we are. Um, this is the final um, wrestling DVD. Uh, well, WWE-wise, I'm sure AEW is going to keep releasing stuff, but... When it comes to WWE, this is it. So, yeah. You got um, Cody Rhodes on the front. And I have people giving me shit for not liking Cody Rhodes. And to be fair, I've never liked him. I have my reasons. Um, I think he's insufferable. <laughs> but that's all I'm going to say on the matter. So, I was actually in Chicago a week before this. Um, I had a TikTok of uh, me and my friend fucking around CM Punk's apartment. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, I, I would have went to this. I, I should have just went a week later, and I would have went. So, um, yeah. You have Cody Rhodes here with his, um, his little war paint camo. Um, I, I don't know. You could have picked a better cover for this one. But it is what it is. You still have the red and blue Survivor Series logo. Which, it's not really Raw and SmackDown anymore. Facing each other. So, I, I don't know. Maybe change the logo up. And, as you know, by now, Survivor Series is always my favorite pay-per-view of the year. I enjoyed this show. Uh, the, the War Games thing, should they have brought it back? Eh, I, I don't think they should have. Obviously, they experimented with it with NXT and everything. But, you know, I, I, what they've done with War Games, it hasn't been bad. So, you know, maybe... I don't think they should do it every year. Maybe make it every couple years, you know, attraction-wise. But, yeah, what they've done with War Games, it's not bad. They haven't tarnished it. They haven't ruined it. It's just, I don't know, some things maybe you should leave alone. But... It is what it is. And I also... I miss my 5-on-5 five five elimination matches. I'm going to be honest with you. But, yeah. Anyway. Enough rambling. Rambled for two and a half minutes now. So, yeah. You got uh, CM Punk there. Obviously, awesome to see him return. I will always be a CM Punk guy. I don't want to hear it. I've always liked him. I respect him. And I find his AEW... Um, tantrums and rants very entertaining because yeah I don't think too highly of AEW nowadays so it's always fun to go back and watch a good CM Punk press conference rant but nevertheless <laughs> obviously yeah final pay-per-view DVD final DVD regardless um, it would have been nice to see Wrestlemania I was there at Wrestlemania 40 so it would have been nice to see that one and yeah, I, I really enjoyed WrestleMania 40, so it's kind of sad we're not getting it. Yeah, I had a phenomenal time at WrestleMania this year. So, getting to the back here, you got Randy Orton's return. Uh, that was really cool to see. You know, I mean, who doesn't love Randy Orton? Um, you got uh, Gunther. I almost called him Walter. But yeah, you have Gunther there. You have your War Games match there. You got your women's match. So, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed this pay-per-view. I thought it was serviceable. It was good. And, yeah, I kind of thought it was obvious Punk was returning. I would have been surprised if he wasn't. Same with Randy Orton. That one was kind of telegraphed. But, yeah, you got the Chicago colors on the side. You got Punk. So, can't complain there. And then on the inside here, you got the Seth Rollins sticker. You got your red disc artwork so yeah pretty simple but yeah this is the last one guys Jeez. so i will have us take a look at the match listing since we don't get that anymore so the women's war games match we had bianca belair charlotte flair shotzi and becky lynch versus bailey oscar io sky and kari sane damage control obviously you had Gunther versus The Miz for the IC title. 
Um, I still think Gunther should have... I, I don't know. I think he should have retained. And if any... Oh, jeez. Uh-oh, here we go. Technical problems. Um, if anyone should have beat Gunther, why not um, Chad Gable? Come on. I think we can all agree on that at this point. Nothing against Sami Zayn, but I just think it would have done more for uh, Chad Gable. He's a great talent. And then we had Santos Escobar versus Dragon Lee. We had Rhea Ripley versus Zoe Stark for the Women's World title. And then your men's war game, we had Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins, Jey Uso, and Sami Zayn versus Rand or what well, with Randy Orton, my bad. Versus the Judgment Day, Damian Priest, Finn Balor, Dominic, and JD McDonough, and Drew McIntyre. So yeah, you had your five on five. Whereas your women's was um, four on four. I don't really know why they went that route. Why not just have it five on five? But hey, it is what it is. So, yeah, overall, uh, decent pay-per-view. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I should have just went to Chicago the week after. I, that, I didn't really think of that. That was just stupid of me. Because, yeah, I, I totally would have went to this to see, um, just to see Punk return live and all that. Because, you know, it's after 10 years. So, it would have been cool to be there. But it is what it is. So yeah, this is the last new release review I'm ever going to do, I guess. So yeah, Moan of Silence. There you have it. Survivor Series War Games 2023. Rest in peace, WWE Home Video. Obviously more videos to come. If you have any ideas, spout them off down below. For now... Peace.